Hey guys, Sally here. So without further hesitation, I'm gonna react to some more Black Lives Matter stuff, so uh, let's begin. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Demonstrators raise both hands and promise not to be silent about racism, anti-blackness, or violence, but that's the Maryland student-led Black Lives Matter protests. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the footage right here it's just going to be absolutely fantastic to react to. So let's dig in. About racism, anti blackness, or violence. About racism, anti blackness, or violence. I will use my voice in the most uplifting way possible. I will use my voice in the most uplifting way possible. And do everything in my power to educate my community. I will love my black neighbors the same as my white ones. I will love my black neighbors the same as my white ones. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god, the whole entire clip was just absolutely pathetic. It just absolutely reeked of, of course, white guilt. Look guys, I do not believe in the concept of original sin. I do not believe in the concept of white guilt. Because I believe that people, of course, are their own individuals. So, that means that the person who is white today is not guilty of slavery or wrongdoing in the past. So, just because some white people in the past did bad things does not mean that everybody else is also guilt by association. Because we all know for a fact that almost all if not all human groups have done something bad against each other. So should I apologize for stuff that some black people did? Should some Asian person also apologize for some Asian person? No, because collective guilt to me is freaking cancer. Toku Shaosu, Black Lives Matter. By the way guys, for those who do not know what is Toku Shaosu, that whole entire channel is just dedicated to showing stuff like Super Sentai and Kamen Rider. So basically, not even the freaking giant Japanese monsters are safe from identity politics. Black Lives Matter. We stand in support of our black creators and colleagues and the broader black community and its allies against the sword to racism and all of his many expressions. Shao Factory is a home for diverse stories and creators. We are committed to the fight for change and justice and pledge to support it however we can, starting with donating a portion of our website sales this month to organization addressing social injustice and income inequality issues. I'm sorry, Shao Factory, but I'm not necessarily interested in your personal politics. The main reason why I want to see Toku Shaosu in the first place is because I want to see giant monsters just kick the living shit out of each other. I don't care about the Black Lives Matter stuff. I don't care about the real world. I want to actually watch that channel to escape from politics. And now I have no option but to actually get that force fed it down my throat because you guys decided to be political. Oh, thank you very much. Popeyes is nothing without black lives. <laughs> you know, what's so funny is that they actually are true, unironically, because obviously too much fried food would actually clog up your arteries and so <laughs> oh my god like it's like the funniest shit though like i'm still laughing over that tweet oh my god it's like wow i think one we we need to be really careful with our language um yes it is disturbing to see property being destroyed it is disturbing to see uh people taking property from stores but these are things and violence is when an agent of the state kneels on a man's neck until all of the life is leached out of his body destroying property which can be replaced is not violence Maybe it's me, but uh, you and I, we both have very different definitions about violence. 
Here's the definition of violence by Merriam-Webster. Definition of violence. 1. A. The use of physical force as to injure, abuse, damage, or destroy. B. An instant of violent treatment or procedure. Since one of the requirements of violence actually needs, like, of course, damage to something, if you actually destroy a building, it is, in fact, violence. Black male mathematics educators. Statement on challenging racial injustice in mathematics. Oh my god, so they're trying to basically say that math is racist, just... Okay, let's get on with the process. Why is math racist? As black men in mathematics, we call on police agencies and civilians to reject policies and practices leading to potential lethal outcomes. We call on the termination and investigation of police personnel that aid in unwanted violence towards black men and women. As black men in mathematics, we call on mathematicians educators to join us with in acknowledging the pain caused by these events and to join us in reaffiliating our commitment to prioritizing mathematics, which embrace black excellency as a humanized platform for anti-racist teaching and learning, trauma-informed practice, cultural, relative, and social justice mathematics. We call on the mathematics communities to immediately create local spaces which embrace black excellence and challenge racist injustice in mathematics teaching and learning. So, in other words, they want black people to have separate buildings because they think that black people are too dumb to figure out about mathematics. Which is really, really insulting if you really think about it. Because, of course, I myself, I am not great at math at all. I'm like terrible at math. However, I don't have expectations that are really low because someone's black and feeling at math. Because everybody at some point is bad at math. Of course, like there are really good people that are good at math. Don't get me wrong. But to think that an entire race need a separate building just because you think they're not good at math is kind of sad and pathetic. Because people like Martin Luther King actually fought against segregation of buildings and stuff. And so we're actually repeating a bit of history with this whole entire idea of color spaces. Because when you really think about it, it's just another form of segregation. Black Lives Matter and their human rights should be guaranteed, says China FM spokesperson on Monday urging the United States to eliminate racial discrimination and protect minorities. I find it so blatantly insulting that China's media is telling us that we need to work on racism when in fact China is way freaking worse on racism. They have entire freaking concentration camps of Muslims there. They freaking deny people at McDonald's service. They basically claim that the coronavirus came directly from black people. And here they are trying to lecture us about racism. That is just funny to me. Today and always, we support all those who stand against racism and inequality. There is no place for it in our society or any society Black Lives Matter. Two words, Hong Kong. Two words, sweatshops. Oh, great as Naughty Dog. I'm pretty sure this is pretty juicy. Now is not the time for any of us to be silenced. For far too long, too many suffer underneath a systemic problem in America. Too many have lost sons, daughters, brothers, sisters, fathers, and mothers. We stand in solidarity against racism and injustice. Naughty Dog of all companies talking about injustice is just prosthetic. Because was it really just? to fire that female writer from your team from Uncharted? Was it really just to put the freaking false DMCAs across many YouTubers for just talking about spoilers for your game? Was it really just to work your workers as slaves in your office? You guys, of all people, cannot talk about injustice. So, what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys next time.
It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I won't <laughs> trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.